All right, good morning. This is the new camera setup. So exciting. What did I get? Uh, I bought an A7 Mark II. I bought Nifty 50, 1.8, one of my favorite lenses. I got it tattooed on my arm. I love it so much. And I also got a 7200 F4 OSS and a 1635, which is what I'm filming on right now, OSS as well, and F4 as well. And I'm using the video mic by Rode. So that is my new camera setup. Anyway, I need you guys to be a little patient with me. I'm still figuring this camera out. The autofocus has been tricky for me to nail. I took a couple days off just to get like uh, editing done, updating the software on this was such a pain in the ass. Air, um, Sony sent out this camera and all their cameras without time-lapse function and a bunch of other like basic functionality things that you have to buy in a store that doesn't really work and then I tried to oh my god guys it took me like two days to do it just to put time-lapse function on this camera that's not cool that's not that's not a thing that they should be doing and it drives me crazy I love this this camera it's so small it's so great but um, the customer support that Sony has or doesn't have, lack thereof, it's the worst I've ever encountered on any company. So yeah, you take the good with the bad, I guess. I don't know. I'm gonna use this camera and uh, reviews pending and I'll be figuring it out as I go. In other news, as you've noticed, the drone is up as well. So I'm pretty much firing at all pistons now. I've got a good camera, I've got good audio and uh, I've got a drone and I've got time-lapse functions. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about it. I've got pretty much everything. So time to make some fantastic videos. All right, start the day off. But yeah, I'm in uh, I'm in Albuquerque right now. It was great to catch up with uh, Camille and uh, Hernando. Honestly, they've I've seen them. This is now like the second time I've ever met them, basically. But they feel like an uncle and aunt to me. I've been looking forward to seeing them this whole trip. It's just thank you so much for taking me in. Thank you so much for showing me how beautiful Santa Fe is and, and how beautiful New Mexico is. You guys make this state for me and it is my favorite state. So thank you so much. Anyway, this morning I've already uh, helped a guy out of the parking lot with a jack and booster cables. I've been boosting people for the last two days, <laughs> just nonstop boosting the folks. Everyone's batteries are dying, I guess, because it's so cold. I know all kinds of battery issues. Um, Let's make some breakfast. Let's make some breakfast. Why are you so excited? So you guys have to let me know what you think of the audio so far. Uh, should be a lot better. It's a nice directional mic. The only thing is the new lens is so wide that when I put the big uh, sound uh, wind blocker, it's called a dead cat. When I put the dead cat on there, you can actually see it in the frame because that's 1635 right now it's at 16. It's quite wide and uh, the camera's so small. The microphone's like really close to the lens. so. I have to figure that one out. Maybe I'll get like a spacer. I've got some stuff. I've got a big case worth of little gadgets for this kind of thing. So I'll just have to set it up right. <laughs> right now it's working without the muff at all. And that works fine, it clears, but uh, with the muff it doesn't clear so much. Just camera problems, man. I've got so many things to figure out. I'm so excited to use this thing. It's a cool camera. Breakfast today is a simple matter of eggs, toast, and some uh, avocado. You know, I love avocados. <laughs> This is a local delicacy that I don't know if it's got me hooked, but it's pretty damn good. Indian taco, which is uh, Indian fry bread. And then they basically put everything they would in like nachos and they just like fold it up like a giant taco. It's huge and delicious. And uh, the bread is deep fried and crispy. So good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Enjoy that have a nice day. Yeah, you too. All right, one Indian taco stuffed on a paper plate because it's a little, the bread's a little flimsy. Oh, 
just filled with the best things. I'm gonna load it up with salsa. Like a warm sliver of goodness filled up with everything you put into tacos. So good. It tastes almost like a like a bakery treat. A little meaty dessert. Welcome to El Moro National Monument. It's kind of a small little national park kind of thing. And the reason it's here is it's the only reliable water source for 25 miles, which means that for millennia, people have been coming here and camping out, which is exactly what I'm doing today. It's kind of cool. Let's go uh, check it out. Welcome to the 800-year-old town of Atsina, which means pictures on the rocks. The town was occupied by the Zuni people about 1275 AD, and although there's only a small portion of it that's excavated, you can actually see the rest of the town, which comprises about 800 rooms from the air. So because this was the only water source for miles and miles and miles, this ended up being a bit of a checkpoint for travelers coming through for a long time. Everybody from multiple different Aboriginal tribes, Spaniards coming through, pilgrims, people coming through to build a railway, just all types, all types. It's pretty wild to see these Aboriginal petroglyphs right next to these English cursive carved out block letter messages. So-and-so was here, 1850. It's nuts. Crazy. What I find really interesting are signs like this one right here, basically stating that you can't continue to write on the wall as we have, as a human race, been doing for a thousand years. At some point they just drew the line, they said, nope, now it's a historical marker, no more writing on the wall. So for thousands of years, people have been writing on it, and now, nope. But, you know, 
I am far more interested in the older ones than I am the newer ones, so it, I suppose it has its purpose. Okay, so along with the park itself, they also have a free campsite for RVs up to 27 feet long. And seeing as mine's about 23 and a half feet, doing pretty good. So I get a nice free campsite. I'm actually gonna make some dinner. Um, and I'm cooking an entire fish. I didn't catch this one. Fernando gave this to me before I left, so I'm gonna clean it up, fry it up, and I'm gonna do uh, curry and rice. Should be fun. I haven't done this yet in the van. Thank you. 